Hi, Marsha here from Do You Salute and Archer and Olive's design team. Have you gotten a pack of the Acrylograph pens and you're unsure of how to use them because you've never had paint pens before and now you're feeling anxious? Don't worry, I was like that too. But after a couple of months of playing around with the Archer and Olive paint pens, I'm more comfortable with them and I'm here to share some tips on how you too can be comfortable with the pens so you can make your very own acrylic masterpieces. So before we dive in, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the bell in order to get notifications of all of the different types of content that myself and my other design team members create just for you. So let's get started. My first tip is going to be get to know your tools. Um, so let's get to know the acrylograph pens a little bit better. Um, so we normally call them acrylograph pens, but I highly recommend that you just keep reminding yourself that they're paint in the form of a pen. Um, when you think like that, you kind of, it helps you better understand the way the ink flows. So I find a lot of times when I get frustrated using the acrylograph pens is because my expectation is that it's um, a marker when it's really not a marker. So let's go into the packaging and talk a little bit more detail about the Acrylograph paint marker pen. Okay, so here it is. Um, the Acrylograph pens comes in two sizes, 0.7 milliliters and three milliliters. It comes in various different colors depending on the collection. So there's a primary collection, there's a jewel collection, tropical, and the two new collections, which is cool fall and warm fall. Um, so the, another important thing when I say get to know your material or get to know your pens is that um, it's important to kind of like be mindful of the type of nib, the material of the nib, because this affects the way you use your marker or pen. So the 0.7 milliliter is a, a plastic tip the nib is plastic, so the way the paper, paper and the plastic touch and feel with each other is going to be different than the point, uh, more diff it's going to be different than the three milliliter, which is a cloth, which I will show you. Show you here. So this is cloth material, it's different. So the, I recommend that you touch it, get comfortable with how it feels. Um, even before you take the ink, um, activate the pen, just kind of rub it against the paper that you're going to use just so that you could get comfortable with the feeling of the nib and um, the paper because different papers feel different with the pens. Now, let's talk activation. So inside of the pen, there is paint, acrylic, um, acrylic paint in the inside. So what you're going to do is you need to shake your pen vigorously in order to activate it. Um, and then once you're done shaking, you're going to need to pump to help continue the flow. There are more details here on the box that tells you a little bit more details, um, how to shake it and activate it. Um, so. Okay, so here's a three milliliter. This is what the pen will look like after it's activated. And we're gonna try an activation right now. So I'm just gonna take the nib here and place it, and then we'll get back to it in a bit. So you take your nib, insert, and then you shake, shake. And then whenever you think you're done shaking, you shake some more. So I like, now you take, now we're looking, there's still no ink, so we're gonna shake it a bit more. So you basically wanna keep shaking the pen and it doesn't matter, you can shake it left and right, up and down. Well, definitely not sideways, this way won't work. 
I like to shake it to beat or like a maracas. Okay, so now some of the ink is starting to flow. So we'll take the pen um, on the blending palette and just pump. Okay. So as you're pumping, As you're pumping, the color is starting to show. Okay. So now that the ink is flowed, it's ready. It's been activated. So this is the same step that you would repeat for the 0.7 milliliter. Um, one thing I do recommend is that you're uh, gentle with the pen as well when you're pumping. So if you pump too aggressively, you may fray the cloth tip or you can damage the tip of the plastic for the seven milliliter. So shake, shake, shake as much as you can so that way you don't need to pump as much. That's my, my other tip. Okay, so now that we have um, the pens activated, Let's go and put them to work. Okay, so I have this real simple box um, to show you how to use the pens and to give you some ideas. I recommend when you first start out, do real simple shapes like these squares with lines in order to get comfortable with how to use the pen, um, just to get comfortable with putting pen to paper. Um, and then that actually is tip number three, which is find your flow. So you might find that some of the pens work better from left to right, and some of the other pens work better um, right to left, or some work better top to bottom, and others work better zigzag. So as you're painting with your pens, and that's another thing you wanna remember that you're actually painting with your pen. So you wanna be light with the pen the way you would with a paintbrush. So, you know, with the paintbrush, sometimes the stroke of left to right works better for a project, and then sometimes a stroke of up and down, or just all the way down, works better for a project. So when you're using your acrylograph pens, just remember that you're not, you're not coloring with a marker, you're painting with a marker. Um, so tip number four is to be light-handed with the nibs. So it's very easy to forget, again, that you're painting, you're not using a regular marker. So sometimes I get frustrated because um, my pen isn't working and I'm like, why? And it's because I'm thinking of it like a regular marker instead of I'm using a different type of paintbrush. So be light-handed with your nibs so that you don't mess up. so that you don't mess up the tips. Okay, so let's start here. We're going to just do a regular T. So I had this activated earlier, but right now it's not working. So when this something like this occurs, that means you need to activate it. Um, you need to activate it. So we're gonna take the pen and we're going to shake. and then pump. So one pump, because I shook already, one pump worked fine. So let's start making our Acrylo Masterpiece. Like this. Real easy. So these box patterns are real, um, a great way to practice using your pen and they're good for header ideas, or if you want to make a quote page, um, these are good. I these are good practice so that you can do it on a smaller space, and then um, once you figure it out, you can get it. You can do it on bigger space. So here you see the pen is starting to fade out a little bit. So then that means I need to start shaking it a bit more. So I'm using zigzag method to cover more area, but then it gets a little bit scratchy. 
another tip that I would recommend that's not written down here on my acrylic tip is to be mindful of the space that you're using. If you're using bigger space, it may be more, it may be better to use the three milliliter nib instead of the 0.7 milliliter. But this all depends too on the tools that you have. Some people may not have both nibs and you have to make work with what you have, which is fine. Okay, so here is a sample of what the three milliliter looks like. So the flow for this one looks like it's better or this up and down flow is working for it. Um, so what we're going to do is layer as well so sometimes you may find that the first set is not looking so great. So there's like little streaks here. So I'm gonna come back to it and layer. But you always wanna let the paint dry before layering and also be intentional with, um, intentional with what you're doing. So if I'm working, sometimes I like to work from right to left and then I'll start doing something on this column and then reach over to do this side, but then I end up smudging my work. So I always have to remind myself to work from left to right in order to let this dry, let this dry, let that dry, and then be able to go back to it. Um, so if you don't let your art dry before layering, what you'll find is that the cloth of the nib is going to start to become a little bit frayed and then the paper also quality starts to peel and then your it scratches the paper and then it ends up not looking so great so it's important to wait for the art to dry before going back to it so we'll let this dry before we can layer and the, for the most part the acrylograph pens are take relatively quick to dry. So just practice now some more. So you may find that you have an affinity for one type of size better than the other, and that's fine. Whatever your preference is, um, go for it. So the next tip that I have is take advantage of the replacement nibs. Don't be afraid to use them. Um, Let's see, I'll just show a little back. So I tried to create this earlier and I was having problems with this color, the paint with this color. And um, I kept pumping and pumping and shaking and shaking and it wasn't working. So um, I had to just realize, you know what? I have the replacement nib. Let me just replace the nib and then go back, soak it and then go back to it. So these are some of the nibs that I have replaced. I, and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak these in the water to like let it um, take out the dried paint, let it dry, and then go back to it, just like you would a paintbrush. So this is another thing too, when I mentioned earlier, it's important to know your, know your tools. So because I'm familiar with the cloth, because I'm familiar with the cloth, you can always take out and re switch it and use the other end. This can be done for the three milliliter, but it can't be done, of course, for the 0.7 milliliter because it's it's not, it's plastic, but then this tip is different than this tip, which is fine. So if you're having trouble with a tip, um, you're pumping, you're shaking, it's not working. Um, if you want, you take paper and dry it and then shake and it's still not working again, just use the replacement nib. Don't, don't feel nervous about using it. That's what it's there for. And then just let these, the nib, the trouble nib soak in water um, and then let it dry. And then you'll see that it should be better. So this is an example, I'm not sure if it can, the camera can pick it up of a 
nib that's slightly frayed so a little piece of the cloth just came out and that's because when I had first pumped with this I was a little bit too aggressive with the pump so when this happens you can if you see that it's starting to get a little bit frayed you can always just gently rub the tip with your hand and then it'll take off the excess cloth and then you can go back to it and it's as good as new So tell me, what are some types of challenges or things that you find overwhelming with the acrylograph pens? Be sure to write it down in the comments down below. Okay, so now that most of the paint is dry, we're just going to do some layering action. Okay, so let's review. First tip is to know your tools. Make sure you really get to touch and feel comfortable with the nibs, especially the difference between the 0.7 milliliter nib, which is a plastic tip, um, versus the three milliliter, which is a cloth tip. The second tip is to shake your pens like maracas. So you wanna make sure you're shaking a lot um, so that the ink can flow. You may wanna make sure that the tip is adequately saturated, especially the three milliliter. You want it to have nice flow. The more saturated it is, the better the flow of the ink is on to the paper. Um, and the more you shake, the less pumping you have to do. The less pumping you have to do, the less likely you are to um, damage the nib, especially for the 0.7, especially for the 0.7 milliliter um, pen. Okay. Also, be light-handed with your nibs. So you want to make sure that you're not so heavy you want to make sure that you're extremely light with the nib so that you don't over press to fray the pen or to damage the paper as well so light-handed remember you're painting with markers you're not really coloring it's not really a coloring marker you're painting with it always make sure that your paint is dry before layering um, again if you don't wait you'll you'll risk damaging the paper or making the paper very frayed. And this will just make your project end up looking um, a bit chaotic. Always take advantage of replacement nibs. Sometimes it's just too far from gone or the nib is extremely dry. So just replace the nib, soak the nib, the problem nib that's the nib that's giving you a problem. And then once it's dry, um, go back to it later. You have this tool, take advantage of it. And then last but not least, be patient, have fun with the pens. This is something that's supposed to help you to create and to help de-stress and um, to help you be productive. So don't drive yourself crazy um, trying to do extravagant things with the pen, you work your way up. So first, just start with basic designs with things like this, for example. And then as you feel more comfortable, as your anxiety about the pens reduce, then you can start thinking about doing more advanced things like blending and um, doing more advanced work. If you do make a mistake, the great thing about the pens is that they're, um, they're they're great for layering so you can always cover over it so remember before i had this zigzag pattern on top of this and i really hated the way it looked so i just took my pen after it was dry and just went over it and now you don't see the zigzag anymore all right so now that you have the tips and tools that you need in order to create your very own acrylo masterpieces be sure to check out our archer and olive blog where myself the other design team members and other content creators create lots of different things in order to help give you some brilliant ideas for your bullet journal. 
Also, be sure to check out Club A&O, which is a paid subscription service where you get exclusive content and printables made specifically just for A&O members. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to follow Do You Salute and hit the subscribe button down below in order to have the weekly updates of what's going on here at Archer and Olive. There's also some links of some videos that you might be interested in, so check it out. Without any further ado, salute.